I'm Rachel Henderson. Welcome to Fulton Now. This isn't your everyday news show, so sit back, grab your popcorn, and let's get updated on our district's news stories. Fulton County Schools held a community meeting last Tuesday, February 27th, to continue its discussions about the North Springs Charter High School Renovation Addition Project. CDH Partners, the project's architect, and Wonder by Design, the visioning firm, whatever that is, led an interactive audience participation workshop that will collect information for setting the future direction and vision of the North Springs campus. Each week, volunteers from Peace Tree Presbyterian Church's Red Dot Initiative visit Lake Forest Elementary School for mentoring, tutoring and reading in math, teacher assistance, and helping with STEAM Showcase Night. The Red Dot Initiative supports our community collaboration pillar, connecting schools with volunteers who, let's face it, can't get enough of the young, adorable kids at Lake Forest Elementary. Banneker High School recently held a ribbon cutting ceremony for its Student and Family Engagement, or SAFE Center. The SAFE Center is a home to school services and community partnerships. It is designed to eliminate academic, social and emotional barriers to student potential. I guess they're not kidding about that whole, it takes a village idea. Pop quiz, what's SGC stand for and what do they do? You guessed it. The School Governance Council gives parents, school staff and community members a chance to have a role in school leadership. Even though we're not old enough to vote in this election either, we still realize it's important to support the SGC's theme of hashtag shared governance. Please vote in SGC elections on March 19th through the 23rd. And pick somebody good, please. Independence High School finalized its details to move back to its home location just in time for the start of school on January 10th, with the snow delayed ribbon cutting ceremony on February 16th. When Milton Center in Alpharetta closed its doors last month, it brought fond memories of the past for two schools in North Fulton. The Milton Center previously housed Milton High School and most recently Independence High School, but will soon be home to the new STEM High School campus, intended to open in fall 2020. The Cambridge Agri-Science and Veterinary Education Program, or CAVE, offers students at Cambridge High School quite a few options. Three-year pathways in everything from veterinary medicine to equine science to agribusiness management. On February 23rd, they had a pre-K farm day allowing pre-K students the opportunity to get excited about animal-adjacent career paths. And also to pet the lion head rabbit. Do you have any idea how seriously soft those are? We end today's show on a much more serious note. We joined with school districts across the U.S. in mourning the unfortunate loss of life and the sufferings of students, staff, and an entire school community. These events remind us that school violence can happen anywhere and at any time. It also reinforces why our schools routinely review and practice their safety plans to prepare in the event of an emergency. As students and staff returned to Fulton County Schools last week, the district took all appropriate measures to ensure the safety of our schools and other facilities. Dr. Rose has gone above and beyond, training and informing staff on necessary precautions moving forward. Our district places a high priority on safety and security, working to provide an atmosphere where students feel safe comfortable and ready to learn.